Welcome to day three, everyone. We're here in Juneau, Alaska. Now, I just had to wake up Kayla because I'm far too excited today. We have not only an amazing view right now, but we have the excursion that I've probably been most looking forward to, and that is the Mendenhall Glacier uh, kayak and hike. So we're going to kayak out five miles to the glacier, then we're going to do two miles of hiking. I'm hoping that we can see some ice caves, drink some glacier water. We even brought little test tubes to take some glacier water home and, and give it as gifts to our family. This is going to be such a great day. The weather looks beautiful right now. I hope it stays that way. Just this is why you need, come with me, this is why you need a balcony when you come to Alaska. Look, you wake up and this is what you see. Yeah, and Kayla's right. I don't know if you heard that there, but um, if you can't afford a balcony, that's one thing. You can always just go to the top, uh, top of the Lido deck, and there's plenty of great views all around the ship, at least on the Ovation. I'm sure there is great views on the Radiance, and I'm not exactly sure what other ships are coming up here right now with Royal Caribbean, but yeah, don't be too stressed if you couldn't get a balcony, but it's Lovely. definitely a nice perk. Anyway, let's get this day going. I want to take a nice little picture up on the Lido deck. We need some coffee, some breakfast. Juneau, Alaska, baby. Let's go. So we started the day with wow. some really fun, like, oh my god, so beautiful behind me. I can't. But we started out the day with some like cinematic shots we had some fun with. And uh, holy smokes, it's beautiful up here. It's not very windy right now, which is a nice change. We're just kind of floating Going into in. Juneau. Like, look at the water, like you yeah. can see it. Like, I'll show a B-roll of it. It's amazing. But I would definitely recommend if you can. I, like, I bought a little collapsible tripod, so we took some fun video, uh, fun photos of, of us. So it's definitely handy to have that. Or like, you know, some sort of attachment where you can like suction cup it to something. So you could take shot. a picture of. Uh, Whoever you're with, your family, your significant other, that sort of thing. Um, we're gonna get some coffee and some breakfast. I think we like should be able to get off in like an hour and a half. Maybe. Uh, what time is it? It's eight. So eight. yeah, we should be docking in about an hour. Docking in an hour. I'm just wearing a sweater and a vest, and then uh, I have a jacket in my bag. I have splash pants and boots again. Bring mitts. I did. I brought some. You guys probably won't bring these, but I brought like little fingerless mitts because. Uh, I could still work the camera and GoPro and that sort of thing. And then um, I have like, yeah, an umbrella, like a rain jacket, like all my electronics, drone, first aid kit, water bottle, and very similar to yesterday. For our excursion today, they are providing an additional rain jacket, rain pants, and rain boots with spikes on the bottom, so I didn't quite want to commit to bringing too much, so. What about you? What about you, Kale? As for me, I have my hat and sunglasses because it's like bright. <laughs> I've got a t-shirt on the bottom layer, a sweater, then my vest, and I just have leggings on with my boots. In I have my fingerless mitts that I can flip over. In my bag, I have a pair of splash pants and a rain jacket, just because the weather, you never know. I know they're giving us some, but maybe after the excursion, if we're walking around and starts pouring, at least I'm prepared. I brought an umbrella. Uh, I brought our little vials so that we can get some glacier water and bring it home for our families. And then, uh, don't laugh at me, but my dad gave me this thing a couple of years ago for when you're oh my God, camping. You brought I brought it. Um, for when you're camping, because the ladies know they understand if you have to pee and you're out in like the woods somewhere and there's no bathroom like it's really hard for us to like you know squat and lean and not fall and whatever anyways long story short my dad got me this thing i think it's called a shiwi it's a medical grade like plastic cup that you can use to like more easily pee in, pee <laughs> in the bush like hey it's smart you just kind of like you know if you ever have to use it, everyone's going to be like, that girl's a genius. You know what? My dad always said that. He's like, the one time you want it, you're not going to have it, so I'll always have it with you. So today I brought it just in case. Washi washi. Washi washi washi. What a terrible view, eh, Kelly? Oh, no, it's awful. Just probably the best breakfast view we've ever had. And we have ported into Juno. 
Awesome, look at behind us. Incredible, it's basically yeah. time to get off. We're gonna be heading down to the gangway and we have a little bit of time, I think like an hour before our excursion starts. And I'm gonna see if I can set up the drone. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I was told there was some restricted drone areas in here, like near the tram. And also uh, over the water, it's kind of like a runway for seaplanes. So we'll see what I can do. If it's uh, too stressful, then uh, I'll just be sending up the drone at the Mendenhall Glacier today. But Find a different way. <laughs> hope I can get some of the ship for you guys. But let's head down and uh, explore Juno. And we're off. That, uh, not my favorite part is uh, lining up to get off, but we were one of the first ones off, or first group, I guess. First group. Yep, and they soon have all their excursion stuff, like, it's a good port. All the excursion stuff is right here, right when you get off, so. Pretty organized. Yeah, organized, and a very beautiful port, and yeah. really nice day. It's actually kind of warm here so far. We'll see what it's like near the glacier, but we're going to do some local exploring for the hour that we have here, and see Meteor about the drone, group. and uh, meet up. Yeah, exactly. Meet up with the group. A lot of shops. We're not really looking to shop, but there are all your typical cruise port shopping stores here. Like, mm -hmm. I think we already saw Diamonds International, a lot of jewelry stores. Yep. Yeah. There's lot. a couple of cute, like, locally owned shops, which I prefer to shop in. As For opposed sure. To, like, the big shops. Not uh, much of those around. I don't know if we maybe go the other way. We came out of the cruise ship and went right. Maybe left is better, but uh, Kayla's... Uh, Got the information for the tour, and I think it's down this way, so. Mm -hmm. Sadly, there's a bunch of signs that says no drones, so. It does say no drones, yeah. It doesn't look like we'll be able to get any view of the ship or kind of the water, but we'll see about popping it up once we're on the glacier in uh, Juneau. Yeah, glacier we're allowed. And then um, we're thinking maybe after the glacier, if we're not too tired, we might try the tram. We don't know when the tram like closes or we haven't looked into it at all, so no promises there, but we'll see what we can do. Okay, yeah, we just stopped. I bought myself a shot glass. I thought this one was pretty good. It's, um, it's got, where is it? It's Gagway, uh, Juno, Ketchikan, and that's Icy Bay. So, pretty close. And then I bought a shirt. I'll show you guys one second. Kale's just looking for a snack because, uh, She's gluten free, and they recommended for our long excursion today. They provide us, she brings a snack, and, but you can't bring any food off the cruise ship. So, strict rules here. And there's the shirt I got. But we're at the Alaskan T shirt company, I believe it's called. It's go right out of the cruise ship. They have every souvenir you'd want here. They have like shot glasses, license plates, t shirts, sweaters, hoodies, magnets, toques, everything. It's a good place, one-stop shop. Kayla picked up, oh. what oh. is this again, caramel? Oh, this is like a butter caramel, and I saw a bag of them for like 10 bucks, and I was like, Kayla, get a grip, you don't need a bag of caramels. And I get to the cache, and they have this giant- Top of them. Jug of caramels in there, two for a buck, so I got two. Oh my God, they're so soft, I can't wait to eat this. You want some? No, it's okay. They get stuck in your teeth. Oh, oh you're gonna yeah. be chewing on that for a long time. I'm gonna be chewing on that for a while, but. Yeah, that's good. It's so good. And, and guys, look what's right behind us here. It's the tram. So, I don't know, the line doesn't look too crazy. Like, it doesn't look too packed over here. It's also pretty early. Okay, guys, maybe I'll just jump the gun here. The line is in here. Looks like it goes all the way up there. Comes around. And then they get on the tram in there. So, already a little bit of a line. I wonder how many trams they will send up way up there. You see that? Looks like it's 50 for adults and 35 for kids. Looks like a really uh, affordable, fun little thing you can do here in Juneau. Looks like the Norwegian sun is following us around here. I think that was following us uh, when we were eating at the Windjammer. We stopped at this like little cute little coffee place called The Grind. It's just a little coffee place on the side of the road here. Try some Alaskan coffee. I just got a drip coffee. Okay, let's go into the bathroom. They had bathrooms at the uh, Alaska t-shirt company that we stopped initially, so there doesn't seem, appear to be a lot of bathrooms around unless you're maybe eating at a restaurant, so good spot to just come and uh, for a little pit stop. Okay, Kayla, guess what? Chicken butt. <laughs> <laughs> what? 
It's Mendenhall Glacier time. Oh my god, I'm so friggin' excited. I've never been so excited for a shore excursion in my life. Like, I hope I didn't, you know, jack it up too much in my head, but from I watched like 742 vlogs and did like hours and hours of research about what to do in Juneau, and it, we have to do this glacier, so I am jacked up. Guys, give us a like and subscribe if you're excited to see this excursion. We can't wait to share it with you. Let what us know if you've been to Alaska. What did you do in yeah. ports? Getting suited up. I'm suited. <laughs> wow. They really give you everything, eh? Yeah, they give you the boots, they give you the life jacket, they give you a rain jacket, a dry bag, so they don't have to worry about your stuff getting and wet. And snacks. And snacks. Like, quite a few snacks, actually. This is a really uh, organized little operation here. Yeah, very organized. Everything you need, they'll give you. And like, we showed up and it was here. So like, our name, our size of boots, what they guess is yep. our size Kayla's of Kayla's gluten-free snacks already laid out. Everything was here. It's amazing. They have bathrooms here. They even oh, have like yeah, coffee that and me. water and stuff. They give us like a free complimentary water bottle already full of water, ready to go. A dry yep. bag for all your stuff so nothing gets wet. And she said I can drone on the Yay. glacier, so we're excited. Very excited. Sadly, I don't think an ice cave is going to be in the no, for us today. Not. But other people have said that and got lucky and found one. So Let's everyone see. just like... And I did bring a little helmet attachment for the GoPro, so I've never used it before, so we'll see how that works out. And it'll probably just be like some B-roll, because we won't be able to like talk with you guys. But While we're, we're paddling and sweating and panting. Yeah, it should be a good trip. Yeah. Let's go. Well, guys, okay. turns out we won't be going in an ice cave or, or even on the on glacier today. The glacier. It has now separated from land, so we like physically cannot get on the ice unless you take a helicopter. Well, yeah, apparently it's too dangerous, but... Or a 16-hour hike. <laughs> yeah. I will be sending up the drone. We will definitely get some drone footage, but uh, it's unfortunate yeah, how fast the glacier is receding. We have arrived. We have. Are you ready for this? I was born ready. We got some canoeing to do. Yes. Have you ever canoed before? I have never canoed. I have kayaked okay, briefly. Like You're like a professional. I feel professional. You look good. Feel it's good. hot out. I don't know how it you're hot. wearing a so tube. I had my t-shirt, my sweater, and my vest, but I took the vest off, so I'm just wearing the t-shirt and the sweater. I probably could have been okay to literally take off the sweater because this rain gear is black. Yeah, it's it's warm, kind eh? of like attracting the sun and it's quite warm out. Like yeah. They were saying we brought the good weather, so. Have any questions about trees or plants? Definitely ask. Uh, so she was just saying that the forest that like we're walking in, it formed like as the glacier receded, so like God, we right, like 1910 yeah. or whatever. Where we were was like a hundred years ago. They're saying yeah, we were at, we'd be at the up to that point. Yeah. And like, so where we're walking right now used to be the glacier and it's now since receded and then filled itself with um, like uh, Sitka spruces and hemlock trees and stuff. It's pretty cool. Pretty steep. Yep. Careful. <laughs> Made it. Go for the stump. Wow. Wait here for everybody Wow. I'm going to be going down this path a little bit. Oh my god. Wow, this is such a beautiful area, guys. Such a nice, calm, peaceful, beautiful sight lines. What a beautiful day. Gorgeous. I can't take in what you see. Check this out. Right there. I don't see it. What is yours? Right. Yeah, we have a beautiful view of Mount Rainier today, too. On three, I will pass it forward to everybody. And we're all going to kind of Grab a hold of the gunnel, spread evenly out, walking the boat, holding it up in the air, not dragging it on the ground, all the way to the shore. Ready, guys? Come on. Ready. Ready. All right. Okay. All right. Keep passing it forward. Passing it forward. Nice. Watch out for the back there. We don't want to trip. Good. Good work. Awesome. Okay, guys, I'm ready to go. <laughs> guys, I got presents! <laughs> Some glacier ice, guys. Yay! Um, Caleb brought a little tech tube. I would say it's like 300. Put the ice in. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
see if it'll fit. It's probably not. Might need to just get water later. Or here, throw it in my water bottle. Oh, my oh did you bring your water yep. bottle? Yep. You get some? Yeah, I'm gonna put it in this little plastic bag, and then I was trying to put them in these little tubes, but they're too small, so. We're in. We're in the boat. This is incredible. This is incredible. Yeah, it really is. What, do we live in Ottawa again? Yeah. <laughs> How are the Canadians doing here? We're doing good? Yeah, everyone's doing really good. Halfway, just about, we're riding a nice little current, which is a nice break because my, I'm gonna have blisters. More tiring than you thought, eh? It was definitely more tiring than I thought, so it's uh, I feel like we were work. going through like a windstorm and then all of a sudden it's like It's so not. calm now, <laughs> like, yeah. Was, we were paddling against us. the wind, so. Um, hopefully the winds don't change and on the way back we'll just arrive. Just coast. Yeah. Oh my god, that is cold. That is, that hurts. It's actually pretty crazy, but there are people at the bottom of the waterfall there. That puts in perspective how big that waterfall is. And that was what, Nugget Falls, was it? Nice. is unreal like I can't explain what we're seeing so it's normally a little rockier so we got really lucky Stroke. go Kayla go we made it I'm tired that snack's calling my name what was it 40 minutes to an hour later, maybe? I think, yeah, she said uh, the fastest they've ever paddled across was about 40 minutes, but anything around an hour is decent, so I think we're floating in that decent area. Not bad. Yeah, we had the wor wind working against us there the last couple hundred meters. <laughs> <laughs> Jill's not taking a break, she's looking for rocks now. Okay, well, there's like quartz in here. Like, I could build a countertop out here. You see one. This one's a piece of white. I could build a countertop. <laughs> a white piece of quartz here. This one's like a black and white piece here. It's even got like the flecks of sparkle in it. It's pretty awesome. Very cool. And then this one, like, just look at the color of it. It's so freaking cool. It's like a little tiger stripe. And, uh, we're just uh, stopping to have a little snack. They provided like a little snack bag. So I'll show you what's in it. First, I was like really happy when I was really happy when I first opened it because it was like nuts and cheese. Yeah. Thought that was pretty cool. They have trail mix. Lots of goodies. Mine has like little gluten free snacks in there. I got a made good. I got a pine bar. I got like a little juice. I have the nuts and cheese. A little chocolate bar. So we're gonna munch on some snacks and uh. And trail mix. Regenerate our batteries a little. Okay. Wow, we look fantastic. We look awesome. <laughs> It's really hard Look to wear how big this I have a big head, guys, and this helmet <laughs> looks ridiculous on me. And I'm trying to wear my toque under my hat because it's freezing. Yeah, right it's now. so cold now. Like, we're layered up, so you're going to want to yeah. make sure you bring extra bring layers. Bring layers. Yeah. I almost wish I had another layer on this. Yeah, I know. Gloves, mitts, jacket, yeah. toque. It's cold. Bring it all. Kayla yeah. over there hiding from the wind. Oh my god, is she suntanning right now? <laughs> you trying to suntan right now? Well, the sun is right here, and the wind doesn't come past this rock, so I'm kind of in like a nice, hot, windless cone of warmth right now. She was saying that all this rock that you see is like moraines, I think she said, but it's all brought here from the glacier. It used to be here. It's pretty cool. I don't want to say it's a rough hike, but it's a lot of uneven surfaces. So, if you have trouble with that, they do have trekking poles, but 
for a while over there. It's like pretty thin and you can trip if you're not physically capable. She was saying that right here, only five years ago, we would have been in an ice cave. That's insane, eh? So we're in an ice cave. It's just, you know, <laughs> the root, it's a topless ice cave. <laughs> yeah. And it's she said the top of the ice started up there, right? Up there. It's so sad that it's not here anymore, but yeah. uh, still amazing. Still really amazing. Wow, it was really beautiful. We got some great drone footage. It is too bad we couldn't actually go on it, but this was like a lot of fun because not only that, I like doing something where you do like some physical activity too, because you kind of like, you earn the experience, right? It was a lot of fun. We're just heading back to the canoe now and got a little bit of hiking to do, <laughs> but uh, what a great day so far. Okay, Kayla's gonna get some glacier water here. Okay, so I got these on Amazon. It's like a little glass tube that you can close. So, let's see if I can get a good sample. Holy crap, that's cold. Drinking glacier water. <laughs> Cheers. What's the taste? Fresh, actually. Yeah, yeah it's good, it's cold. No chemicals. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty good. Come on, Kayla, drink the glacier water. Last time I drank local water was in Costa Rica and I got really sick. But I'll have a sip. Okay. Woo! Yeah, it is really like clean. Tastes like water. <laughs> Actually, water, yeah. Well, it's like really clean. It's yeah. not like, um, it's not salty or like slimy. Sulfury or anything, yeah. yeah. That took a bit of effort to come back. It wasn't as wasn't much as bad on the way there. On, as on the way there. On the way there, I was like, yeah. exactly. Um, way back, we had a little period where the wind was kind of behind us, and it was nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, definitely some physical, definitely some physical exertion activity. on this trip. Yeah. yeah. I feel like I'm, we earned some snacks. Yeah, definitely. A drink, some food. Definitely. We got some recommendations of some places. Yeah, in town distillery to in town. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, since we still have time, it's like only 3.45. I know, so, so we have till 8.30. We drive, drive back to the warehouse, D. Get out of our robe, stuff, yeah. And then uh, they'll drive us back to downtown area and then we can wander around. What I would say that I really liked about this excursion was that you came to Alaska to experience nature. And today we walked through the rainforest, like we're doing now. We canoed out to a glacier. We hiked a little bit. And we got to experience just a, like a wonderful excursion. So I definitely recommend doing this. We 
were at the cutest little spot, Deckhand Dave's. They had uh, fish tacos. This is actually recommended by our tour guide. She had, Rex said they had the best fish tacos. They have oysters and champagne. And they have local beer. I'm trying the Devil's Club, I believe, beer. Very good. So, Kayla, what did you think of the uh, excursion today? It was amazing. It was... I'm still not over it. <laughs> it was so good. Yeah. Uh, we had amazing guides. Shout out. We had an amazing group. All Canadians. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and it was just the best excursion. It was, yeah, the paddling uh, was, the canoeing was more difficult than I thought it would be. It or I guess longer than I thought it would be. The wind was not in our favor on the way there, that's for sure. So we had to put in the work. Uh, but with great work comes great reward. Because <laughs> yeah. we got to go to the glacier. And we got back at 4.30. So we were yeah. gone from 9.30 to 4.30. 10.30. Oh, 10.30 to 4.30. Mm -hmm. So it was a, so it was a long excursion. excursion. And like they gave us snacks, they gave us all of our equipment, like we had everything we needed. Um, oh yeah, so the I think snacks the were really good. The value was really good. Like the value for money was really good. We'll link the description. I think I booked it through Alaska Shore Excursions. Yeah. Um, but they are called Above and Beyond Alaska. I gotta say, and I, it's not at any fault of the excursion, but I was pretty disappointed that we didn't get to actually go on the glacier. I know, but like that being said, like there's not much they can do about it. I mean, the glacier is receding at a rapid pace, and so now it's actually receded away from the rock. So like there's no safe way to get us there unless we take like a ridiculous yeah, hike. They said it's either a 16-hour hike or a helicopter ride, and that's the only way you're getting on. Now. And then the, su the sucky thing about a helicopter is you're gonna spend like a thousand U.S. dollars, and they give you 15 minutes on that glacier, and then a thousand right per, person. per person. Because I got to say, this this excursion wasn't cheap. Yeah, it wasn't cheap, but it wasn't the most expensive. So I feel like it was a good investment. We got a lot of reward from this one, but it would have been nice to step on the ice, obviously. But we got as close as possible. It was probably the highlight, or one of the highlights of my cruising travel. Yeah, same experiences. Yeah, yeah. it's probably one of the better excursions we've been on. It was really well organized. It was well like funded. Like it wasn't like they were giving us, you know, rain gear with holes in it or anything. Everything was new, clean. Like it was very well done. Well, it's uh, almost that time for us to start heading back. It is 5:40 now. It's yeah, and we, we don't have to be back on the ship till 8 o'clock or 8.30, but uh, we do have dinner in the main dining room at 7.30 tonight. Kayla has placed an order for a gluten-free meal, so we do have to be there. I would really recommend coming to this um, Deckhand Dave's and the excursion we did today. We made friends that sat here and the oysters, yeah. I'm not even kidding, were like this big. And they're caught They were right really big, here. yeah. They're massive. I kind of wanted one, but I was I like, ugh. <laughs> I'll just wait to get back yeah, on the ship. I've been really ship, hungry. So we only got a <laughs> yeah, we only got a beer here, so I'm starving. But uh, definitely earned my dinner tonight, so I'm gonna oh. eat big. Oh, I think I did the calculations. Hold on, my oh, fitness yeah. app told me how many calories we burned today. It says we burned 791 calories. Oh well, it probably doesn't know. We paddled for like four hours. <laughs> no, how long was I know, it? Right? We paddled so for like. Uh, and you climbed 13 flights of steps today, yeah. just in like. We probably paddled for two hours, so uh, yeah. we probably burned more it than that. It just shows like my daily average, which is really sad, but then it just like spikes. <laughs> we are back on board into our comfortable clothing mm -hmm. out of, uh, we were sweating today, so it felt good to change, new mm -hmm. socks, Fresh enough, shower, good, and yeah. felt good. Well, you know what time it is now though, it is happy hour in the Diamond Lounge. Mm -hmm. So I really love it because they have like specialty well, coffee there for free. Too snacks and like the people the staff there they remember us every day mm -hmm. they're like oh hi like you know it's just nice to go to the same place where everybody knows your name like cheers <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly so we're gonna head down there and then go to dinner in the main dining room so we'll show you the food and uh the menu for tonight and let's get this night started we're just here in the diamond lounge mm -hmm. having a little beverage but we wanted to uh today the day of the video yes <laughs> it is mother's day so we don't know when the video will actually come out it won't be mother's day so <laughs> <laughs> definitely not yeah but we just wanted to wish all the mothers out there a happy, happy mother's, mother's day. day 
And uh, I wanted to wish Kayla a happy Mother's Day for being a dog mom. Mm -hmm. Because dog motherhood is, you know, she takes (laughs) really good care of our dogs, so she deserves some praise. Yeah, for mommies and all sorts of mommies out there. So happy Mother's Day. We hope you all had a great day. The roasted poblano is fire. It is good. Sweet pepper. It's a must. I think it was really good. I don't know why you don't mean. Yeah. You're right. The best soup. Mm-hmm. I got a gluten-free version of the crispy taco, um, or crispy tofu tacos. Looks pretty good. Yeah, it's actually really good. Can't remember the name. I got the enchilada. Oh yes, the pulled pork enchilada. Oh yeah, that's right. I am presently pleasantly surprised. It's very good. Yeah. We are at the music hall for karaoke superstar round, round two, two, which is better than round one, obviously. Yeah, and the karaoke here has been amazing. Same. So I expect to be blown away by everyone, and not one person be terrible. Um, and I think I'm going to try a new drink at music hall because I'm trying not to get the same thing twice. I'm debating between this drink called the Caribou, which is basically rum, rum, and pineapple juice. But then I'm also debating maybe this Hotel California, which is tequila, pineapple, orange juice. That's the one I was thinking of trying there. I think the Tabasco sauce is throwing me off a little. Like, I almost wish it was like a Chipotle or like a... Uh, yeah, I'm not sure something. about the Tabasco sauce the either. So, <laughs> guys, believe it or not, I don't know if you can tell because it's like purple in here, but I got a sunburn today in Alaska. And right now, it looks like it's, it's going to be a Alaska. nice day tomorrow. And in Ketchikan, it's supposed to be 23 degrees. Oh, I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, but hot. do a quick search. It's like really hot really week hot. here. It's crazy. And it's only May. What's the date today? May 14th, Mother's Day. So, crazy. But uh, we're gonna watch some karaoke. I think we we're gonna call it early, I'm not sure. I don't know, we'll see how we feel after, because we still have yeah. two more drinks. Two drinks. Here, so, we'll see how we feel. Still room for mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Yeah, we have the White Pass Railway tomorrow, and it's not yeah. super early, so we could probably sleep in a little bit, but um, we'll just see. Okay, let's try the uh, Hotel California. Tabasco sauce is going to be kind of interesting. Let's see how that tastes. Pretty good, actually. I'm surprised. Kayla, you want to try this? Um, I want to try yours, but he made me a little nervous about mine because when he brought it to me, he goes, it's a little strong. <laughs> okay. I was like, oh, okay. So... Okay, I really like the Tabasco on this. You do? Okay, let me try mine really quick and then I'm gonna try yours. I'm just trying a to mix up, tingle. mix up all the rums here. I can smell the rum, so I know it's strong. It's very, very strong. <laughs> but it's good. Yeah, it's a high value. High, high very value. Very high value voucher. Okay, try this though. I think okay. you'll like the tingle. The tingle one? Yeah. It happens like 10 seconds after you take the sip. Oh yeah. That's good. Yeah, you like it? It's spicy. I like it a lot. Ooh, yeah. There it is, the tinkle. I know, it's built in my <laughs> mouth, but now it's like going down my throat. Oh yeah, that's yeah. nice. There was half of the people that were good, which 
or the, think the people I filmed. I think I filmed one group of guys that were just like, I don't know, really he was just like, I don't know what he was doing. And then, <laughs> the uh, guy, the sexy high note guy. Yeah, there yeah. Was, and then there was like the other half of the people that were just like trolling basically. Our yeah. host was the, that, that was the biggest thing. The host was the, she, she was, was so entertaining, so like cracking jokes. Very funny. She was very funny. Definitely have to get her name for the survey. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, she was amazing. Yeah. But, I'll with that being it. said. That's a very heavy camera. How do you hold that all Yeah, it is heavy. <laughs> <laughs> that being said, we are going to bed. It yes. is 10 o'clock. I know it's early, but we've had a long day. It was a long day. We did a lot of exercising. A lot. And we're doing the scenic railway tomorrow mm -hmm. in Skagway, so we're looking forward to that. Uh, I just want to thank you guys for watching. Yes. Please like and subscribe to see the next video and continuous Videos. cruise content. And uh, we'll see you we'll tomorrow. See you guys in the morning. Hope you enjoyed for the video. Skagway.